Welcome back to our playthrough of Elden Ring. Okay, so I've done some things. Let's talk about those things. So I had some friends jump in, weigh in, and give me some input on some things that I can do to sort of like uh, strengthen my build. And so I went around, did some leveling, uh, upgraded a few levels. Let's take a look at that now, actually. Okay, not by much. I'm at level 86 now. I've gotten more deaths. You can see we're up to 236. This is my current attribute point uh, set up in the bottom left there, of course. And then I got some new magic abilities, um, including one uh, called, like, what is this called? Cleanse of Fire or he Heal from Fire. What is this called exactly? Flame Cleanse Me. Wow, I was way off. Anyway, but this thing cleanses, like, every, like, thing that you have going on, which is really great because I also spent some time going through some dungeons, taking on some lesser bosses, uh, defeating some tree sentinels, and I even beat the crap out of the Draconic uh, Sentinel as well that was blocking uh, the capital city. I beat that thing too. Um, none of those, none of the things that I did off screen are really all that interesting, but I did discover some interesting things that I'm going to save for probably this video. Um, one of the things that I did as well, uh, was I got my mimic tier ashes up to plus 10. So, uh, I figured out how to do that. Um, and that's been very useful. The mimic tier almost feels so broken that I've just stomped every boss that I've come across with very little, very little effort including a very difficult like starfall beast or whatever that thing is called like that black and white scorpion cow or whatever that is made of stone that's such a weird ass thing to say but i defeated one of those um defeated the two tree sentinels uh outside the capital city entrance or like the outskirts beat those two they were all in the generally the same area beat those guys um and then i also found a dungeon that rewarded me with a really cool weapon that i'm gonna play around with later after i leveled up more moon veil this is the this is the sword i was telling you guys about that i actually wanted to obtain uh, and why I dumped points into intellect because there was a requirement that you needed to have a certain amount of intellect to actually use it. So I boosted uh, intellect into that, 23, um, and we're good there. It's a really freaking cool sword. We'll play around with it later and I'll show you one of the things that it does. Um, the transient moonlight is one of the coolest looking attacks ever. It's basically like the same thing as sheath, but it shoots out like an arc of energy out of it, which is really cool. So once I get that to be stronger, I'm gonna replace uh, this Uchi Katana, which I got to level 17, and I also uh, adjusted its uh, affinity, so I got the Unsheath Ash of War. Now, by default, the Ash of War is on this, but I got the Unsheath Ash of War, and when I reapplied it to the Uchi Katana, it let me change its affinity, and Cold is what I have on it now. So I'm stoked about that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've gotten. I got this Gold Scarab, increases runes, obtained... For I can't even tell you where I got all these things, so like, honestly, don't ask. Um, I, I just kind of went around, did my own thing. If I found something that I thought, like, maybe this was going to be too interesting, um, I'll save it for a video. Um, and then once I realized how easy it was to stomp a bunch of enemies using the Mimic tier at the max level, which is 10, once I realized that, I was like, okay, I'm coming back to these gargoyles, which I'm pretty sure I did. I introduced in a previous video the same one where I beat the crap out of... <laughs> well, these things actually beat the crap out of me. These, uh... Uh, what are they called? Crucible Knights? There was a Crucible Knight over there. He gave us trouble. Then there was this guy who was like Crucible Knight adjacent. I don't remember what he was called, but he was also tough. Um, and I did come across another fight that had like some, um, like it was a dual fight. It was a Crucible Knight and some other warrior creature that we've actually seen before um, as part of the castle where we fought Rodan and um, beat, uh, beat him as part of the festival. So we fought those two. Um, what else did we do? Yeah, I recorded the stuff where we went and deal, dealt with the shadow that was essentially Blythe. Um, this guy apparently has a purpose as well. I don't think I have anything on here to interact with him, but he gives you stuff. Um, there's more stuff that we can do over there someday. I don't know when. Probably not this video. But yeah, I did a lot. Leveled up. Got my Mimic tier. This thing should totally help me kick the crap out of the enemies that I'm about to face here. Changed my weapon. Got a new weapon that I've been going after for a while. Um, and to get Moonveil, it was a... Where was this? I don't remember exactly where it was. I think it was over here somewhere. No, this is someplace we have to do. I found this and I was like, okay, this is something that we have to do in a, in a level together. Not this one... I don't remember. There's a dungeon somewhere around here. I think this one. Yeah, the Gale Tunnel Dungeon. I'm pretty sure this was it. Yeah, this one, because these two are connected. But essentially, you hit this spot, 
go through here, defeat a bunch of enemies, which are pretty, they were easy to beat. But the boss in this one is one of those magma worms, like those, like, uh, dragon wyvern things that spit lava everywhere. So you beat him, you get Moon Veil, and then you follow, the, like, everything else through here, and then it spits you out uh, right here. It's one of the only t um, dungeons I think I found. I think it is the only dungeon I've found, but one of the only dungeons in the game that has two different entrances. And I don't know if this one is blocked and you have to go through this one, because I didn't know this spot existed until I went through it and then came out of here. But what was really cool is once you get through everything, right before you encounter the magma worm, there's a side of grace right next to it. So you could just like walk like 10 paces, and this is like inside, and the battle is like right here. So, but I beat him the first try simply because I had my plus 10, what's I call it? Uh, tier on here. So, um, I also got a new flask, uh, mixed physic, that allows me to not, uh, lose my runes. Uh, I'm not terribly concerned about them. 20,000 some. I mean, it's not much, but I am gonna pop it. I'm also gonna pop this, get my health back. Alright, and I'm gonna dual hand this thing, and hopefully this katana with ice is gonna help me beat the shit out of these gargoyles that have been giving me so much trouble. Um, so... Let's go, Mimic Tear. Let's beat this guy's ass. I figured that was going to hit me. Alright, so this physic actually makes it so I don't lose my runes in a fight. So, he's, as soon as I get this dude to half health... Oh, he hit me again. Yeah, look how much damage resistance he has. He is, like, just doing so well against him. In fact, there were a bunch of fights that I did where... Where, uh, he was just, like, beating everybody for me. So, I think what I'll do... is he can take care of the other one, and I'll deal with this guy myself. Got a little damage on me. I don't know if my... Yeah, my tear is doing some damage to him. Oh, shit. He's bringing him down. Okay, so his health is going down. We gotta take out the other one. I gotta bring him down. Because my tear is gonna be killed soon. There, first time killing him. Alright. Mimic tear is taking some damage. He's gonna die. He has the ability to heal if he wanted to heal, but. Oh, that's not good. I might die, and that's fine. At least I finally got. At least I finally got one of these guys down. That sucked. That, I was in the middle of a second animation. It, yeah, that sucked. That screwed me. I was in a, I was stuck in an animation. I couldn't hit him again. Okay, so I think what I can do is I'll readjust my... We got way farther this time than before. Okay, so do the stake. I didn't lose my runes because of the physic that I have, which is excellent. Excellent, excellent. Happy about that. Um, okay, so we're good there. Um, let's take a look. Oh, you know what? Shit, I can't adjust my... Uh, I was going to adjust my flasks. Okay, I'm going to help my... Uh, Let's see, what do I have? Ah! Yeah, I screwed some things up here. Let's see, I was gonna help my Mimic out by taking some of his magic powers away so he could only have a couple that are, like, super necessary. But I think what I'll do now instead is we're gonna focus on just killing this one together. And if I can save him, he can be a great distraction to help me face the second one. So let's just do our best. Dodge that, which is good. There we 
we go. Didn't do the crit that I was hoping. Oh, there it is. Pulling out of it. Okay, he's already like three quarters dead and my Mimic is doing a great job. Just get out of the way for a minute. to help him. He's doing okay, but I need to finish uh, the poison. I'm not getting near that. If he stays in the poison, he's toast. Get out of there, dumbass. They're both distracted by him, but this is the one we have to take him down first thing. Oh, wait. He's the other one. Shit. Nope, I'm dead. Fucking poison, dude. I, was, I always get confused with that because the poison, I look at it and I see the poison bar, and I'm like, okay, I'm not taking damage until it gets maxed. But then I look up, and no, like, I'm already dead. I hate that. I hate that poison thing. That's, uh, that's the only part that's going to give me trouble, I feel like. Okay. We're going to get it this time. I can feel it. We're getting so close. Did he sum up? Where you at? Oh, he didn't. Oh, I wasted a freaking thing. All right, fine. You're going to do that then. I'm going to kill myself because I don't want to waste that. Hiya. He didn't summon. We can probably wait until we get inside anyway. There's, like, maybe just enough time to pop it, heal, and get ready. Because, like, it's... Oh, you bitch. Fine, whatever. He gets a little cramped. All right, let's get our health. We'll move the... We'll allocate uh, flasks. Allocate. We'll do that. Ooh. I think that's okay. I'm good with that. Actually, you know what? I think what we'll do here... Because he can use potions. Um, or not potions, but uh, healing. So let's go to... MRI spell and get rid of... Rejection fire this one this one yeah urgent heal and flame cleanse me so i need this one and we'll keep that one i'll come back for the others but right now like i don't know exactly what they're most vulnerable to i've heard it's fire because they're made of stone but at this point like i don't know i don't care like we're gonna we're gonna fight him with this sword and we're gonna beat him i got so close and so this is the first time i beat one of those gargoyles and we're gonna beat this one this time and then I'm going to I'm just going to make sure that we put the emphasis on beating one so we can turn our attention to the second one cuz he's great at kicking so much butt but I have to remember he's there to help me and I have to also be there to help him too because if I let him die that also hurts me so I need to make sure we keep him alive buddy he also i should have probably put on a different helmet for damage protection it's minor but it's enough to where he could have been wearing that and been much better off there from the poison. The other one's here already. Damn it. They both got us. Come on. Get in there and finish him before he starts, like, dropping poison. What the fuck? I was full health. Well, I... Sometimes the enemies kill you so quickly, I don't have enough time to kind of see, like, what is happening? How, how did he suck my health out so quickly? I know we're going to win. I know we're going to beat him now. I'm ready for it. It's just a little frustrating because I, I, I... Is that like sucking the air out of my lungs? Like I don't really know how that thing was able to 
do what it did so efficiently. He just like shoved it through his eye hole. All right, buddy, let's go. We're gonna win this shit. Damn it. Ah, couldn't dodge out of there quick enough. See, look at how well he is at not taking damage. Or how well? Maybe I didn't say that right. How good he is. Like, look at that. He's got so much better... Damn it. Damage resistance than me. That's actually going to come to bite me because I keep missing these attacks. That hurt a lot. And then now we've got the double problem. Oh, you bitch. Okay, well, that didn't work out as much as I wanted it to. They're too close. I gotta back off. See, I wish you could tell when you're highlighting them which one... Okay, he's the twin blade. He's the new one. That's the one we want to focus on first. But they're so close, they start mixing their weapons together. Oh, he's dead now. This is a bunk run right here. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this one. Just didn't, he, he died way too fast. They both just started stomping and swinging and poison spitting. When If they're too close together, that overall damage output is f way too freaking strong, dude. You can't survive that. I have to do more damage to the first one before the second one drops down. Because the second one will drop down once you do like double health, or sorry, half health rather. Went right when you get to the halfway point but he has there's a time though so when he when the half health point hits that one kind of like wakes up from slumber and then jumps down and then you know slowly comes into the fight so you have you can you have enough time to do more damage but neither he nor i are doing efficiently here first round was great did a great job of that the first time right when we loaded in here but the fight is still it's still hard but it's not as hard as i was expecting it to be i'm just not pulling off my moves i'm missing my missing my unsheath right off the bat he goes for that one huh damn you bitch finally Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. That also, I think, hurts you a little bit and uses your mana a little. So we're going to have to do some damage to him. Yeah, we're right almost at that halfway point. we got to start slashing. That sucked. Dude, where is my guy? Yeah, we're fucked. My man's not doing anything. Yeah, he just... He's... Yeah, he's not... He's not doing great this round. He didn't do shit. He, this guy was wide open. And he just didn't get in there for the... God damn it. For the hits. doing buddy what's your health at and we got one okay so he's not doing terrible he's at like a fourth health maybe get out of there it's not worth the attempt to doing damage yeah it's just gonna be me and him this time oh he healed up a little bit I didn't really help him too much.
get in there. Yeah, he's done. All right, now it's a matter of just taking this guy on myself for a little bit of health. Plenty of heals. Just. You're close. <sighs> gotcha, bitch. Gargoyle's great sword. Valiant Gargoyles and Gargoyle's twin blade. F yeah. Okay, that was a tough one. Now, I had read before that there was, like, a little exploit, and they must have patched it, where you could get the gargoyles to, like, lunge and attack you here, or they would, like, be facing you while their back is to this, and they would do one of, like, the... They would do one of those, and then they would fall off the edge, but I guess that was patched. Um, I did also find that there's an exploit by certain attacks that you can do, like, slam attacks that lift you off the ground, almost treating it like a... Like, not a double jump, but, like, jumping twice as high. And around the corner of that rock ledge, if you do it, you can get on top of a rock, and then you can manually just jump, like, all the way up to the top of this mountain as, like, a, a thing. Um, and then you can just, like, shoot it with arrows, and then you can beat it that way. It's a huge cheese. But at least this way, I feel like I did it, like... I did it on my own terms, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? These gargoyles I read were also, like, among the toughest enemies in the game. Oh, there is a... But we can level up, too. So, we beat them. But I heard that there's, like, obviously, like, super-duper tough enemies. But as far as optional enemies, although I do think this one might be part of a quest line, it is a really difficult enemy to, to, to knock down. Um, probably throw strength up for a little more damage, right? I can't remember. Am I dex? Am I going dex or am I going... I don't know. I don't remember. I keep forgetting which one I need. Dexterity gets me to 427. This one gets me to 428. Like, I almost feel like I should reset strength and then just focus on health for now. Yeah, because that's that was some advice that I got is, like, I can... Your main thing is trying to stay alive, right? So, like, as far as damage is concerned, you can upgrade your weapons and build that up. So you don't really need to worry about the the skills and stats that, that require you to... Why the f... Why'd I do this? It's a cutscene? What the hell? I almost missed this. I was about to turn around and leave. Okay. What is the point of this? Some weird shit, dude. Oh, it's lifting me up? Because I did notice that the waterfall, when you enter here, had an area that you couldn't, like, reach. And I was like, I was coming over here to see if there was a way for me to climb up now that I defeated those things. But it seems like... This is doing something entirely different, actually. Okay. Yeah, that made me tear save my ass. Honestly, without him, I don't think I would have won this. Where the hell did this take me? depths. I have no idea what this is all about. I may come back here later because I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. How many runes do I have? 13,000. Actually, let's adjust my flasks back. Some 
Fight him up there. Okay, we can use our mount. What the flying hell? Oh, is that a tr tree creature? These guys are typically not too overwhelming, but they're definitely not friendly. Oh, he doesn't even have a name. Oh god, he does a lot of damage, though. Let's see my endurance back up. If I had fire damage, this guy would be hurting. But he's slow. He's easy to hit from behind, but he... What the hell's that? Oh, the, the energy attacks that he shoots. Yeah, individually, they're not too, too, too bad. But altogether, they're overwhelming. I forgot that that was an attack that these things could do. But I beat the shit out of him. Like, just not even really trying that much. I'm going to go for my runes first and then turn around out of here. Oh god, he's almost dead. Ah shit, I need to... Yeah, he's... My mount is gonna die. I'm going to... Reset it real quick. Because I think... Does Torrent's health get reset if I rest at a side of grace? I don't know. Actually, memorize spell. Fire would do me some good here. Let's get my spells back. Um, Glintstone Pebble is cool, but I really wanted to get... I'm gonna get that one. I like this one. I know I can't really use it, but I like it. Magma shot seems cool. I don't know which fire attack I like the most. This one's really fucking cool. I want that one really bad. Throws ball of raging fire. Incinerates area before cast. Yeah. I'm gonna tr I don't know if I want this one more. What was this one? Flame of Frenzy. Yeah, I'm never picking that up. Okay. And then I think... So I like this one too. Briars of Sin. We saw this for the first time when we faced... Um, how do I... There we go. When we faced the, uh, the very first AI... What's it called? Like, enemy that showed up. Um, invader. That guy. That was what it was. And I remember just loving that attack. Just thinking that was like way cool. My intellect needs to go up. So we're going to dump some intellect in there. Faith needs to be 24. Yeah, I can build a lot of these up. But I like... I'm going to try and see what we got here. Um, oh, I can't throw fireballs on, on horseback. So much for that. Oh, that's a lot of damage to him. Oh boy, yeah, he's hurting Torrent big time. There it is. See, they're really easy to avoid if you just stay in motion. I know I can always just like bring Torrent back with health. Oh god. With a, a flask. But uh. Oh that was the luckiest dodge. Oh shit. That wasn't though. Not good. I'm dead. Nope. Didn't have enough time. I need to get more heals. I'm, I don't know if I have the material to get uh. <clears throat> more torrent heals what are those berries or some shit let's see if I do I don't know if I can make them shit that's all I have just the one isn't there there might be another item that can be used to heal him alleviates alleviates 
boost immunity. I thought that there was something. I thought we had more than one item that could do this. That could like heal Torrent. But it doesn't seem to be the case. All right, let's see, where the hell? Yeah, grab those. Oh crap. That's not good. That's like instant death almost. Oh, he didn't heal from before, did he? Shit. It really wasn't that hard. I just was worried more about Torrent than anything else, and that worked against me. Staff of the Avatar. Very nice. Okay. I don't know if he respawns, but I'm going to go ahead and just not worry about it. This is a whole new area. I have I didn't know that this was going to bring me to some other place. There was an item, too, nearby that I missed. Where was that? There it is, top left. I'm not going to get it from here. Well, no, you can't get there. That's okay. We can go up this tree. It looks like we're underneath an urn tree. Maybe a minor one? I don't know. Really don't know. Oh, that sucked. Seems like a rather peaceful place, mostly. lit the area up, but it's okay. I needed that really bad, actually. I'm low on those, and I need it if I want to upgrade my weapons. This place is fucking cool. Actually, is there... Are we underground? Oh my god, there's such a massive underground area. I had no idea this game was going to be so full of underground surgical areas. It looks like a cave there. What do you think? Is that a cave? Yeah, it is. Side of Grace, probably. It's likely going to be a dungeon. What the hell do we have here? Are they these ants? What are they? They didn't get a chance to attack, but that doesn't mean they're not incredibly deadly. I have a feeling they are. And there's a lot of them. For once, I would just like to find gigantic enemy. Oh, shit, that's a queen gigantic enemies that weren't like extremely hostile granted i was the first one. holy fuck first one to strike newman's rune and a rune arc seems like there's a lot of these things up here though just to piss it off so we fight it oh they all came down oh there's a bunch okay so they're not queens like i thought they were there's something else yeah, it's a lot. What's the what's the recommendation here? Wrath. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Oh, what the f just happened to me? I don't know who did that. Oh, they're spitting acid at me. But it, it looked like it was just damage, not... Uh, not uh, poison. Whatever, let's just see what happens. Turn my way. No, what the f are you doing? Attack, you asshole. He didn't. Dumb piece of shit. For some reason, his sword disappeared. I don't know what he was doing. I was, I only hit the attack button for the sword and he just wasn't swinging it and he pulled out this potion. Like, what the fuck? I wasn't doing it. I did not hit any buttons like that. That is some horse shit. But it's fine because I don't I didn't lose my runes and I'm gonna go back in there. I do wanna know okay, so he's dead dead. I do wanna know if what these things do. What was the 
Detailed view. What does it give you? Gain 12,500. Holy God. This is like... If I can respawn that area, I'm going to like max level <laughs> in like five minutes. Probably not because I know it takes a lot. But let's go ahead and see what happens. That's fantastic. It's like 60,000. Oh, please tell me I can farm that because that's so great. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do it. Let's level up a little bit. No, I doubt it. That's too good. That's too good. Uh, 50,000. Okay, so I can level up health twice, which is good, but I think I need... Yeah, we'll just do that. Let's see. Please, God. Oh, my God. Please tell me that I can just beat these ants to pieces and then just claim that. I will gladly die every time for that. I will, I will die for these ants. Please, just let me kill these sacky ants that's too good though there's no way that the game is that generous that just can't be i just can't i can't imagine i uh, thought that was gonna happen fuck oh well, it's only four thousand rooms well it's probably on the on the area before there's no way though right they just can't be that's too too many no i can't that seems to be in my opinion the biggest amount of... I really want to... Oh, you can do this on horseback. Or not. I don't know why. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'll worry about that later. I'm not really interested in trying that out at the moment. I want to focus on this task. If I can farm those freaking ants, dude... Oh, hey, there's my runes. Bear noise. no way right yeah they're not here there yeah these things are far more aggressive if you aren't careful but hitting them seems to nullify their attack, like, right in... It stuns them. And I don't know... So I feel like if I jump down there... It'll probably have only a few ants at a time. But the big sacky ones... Yeah, that was too good to be true. I knew it. They'll drop down, and then I'll... I have to beat them fast, otherwise... The other ones will drop down too quickly, and it'll be overwhelming. Ah, I missed it. Missed it. Oh my lord! Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I have to be quicker than that. I didn't lose my runes, though, so I'm fine with that. I want to see what, what's back there, though, really. Ah, oh, shit, I don't care about this. I'm kind of bummed. Um... This video is going to come out way after the news broke because I record a bunch of videos all at once. But at the time of this recording, today, this morning, I recorded this on August 2nd, 2024. Game Informer, seemingly out of nowhere, announced that it's closing. I know that the company went through some like financial struggles because no one really buys or reads magazines anymore. But um, they had a digital storefront and uh, they... Uh, you know, tried to recoup some of the losses owned by GameStop as well. Game Informer is owned by GameStop. They had a bunch of layoffs some time ago because of the reasons, obviously. You know, people don't read written publication anymore. But Game Informer was, like, one of the greatest sources of gaming media and information and journalism and reviews that you could possibly find. Like, I have, I personally don't 
feel like they've ever been like so biased against something or like they've never they've never st stood out as being like a shill like a paid shill in some way and i feel like competitors like ign and kotaku like they have stood out to be like that sometimes and even i've read their reviews sometimes and i'm like that doesn't make sense but um that's not to say they are it's just you know i'm throwing it out there that that's just something that in the same conversation you have about shills and biased journalism ign and and kotaku jump out at you um but game informer never struck me as that and them being shut down is really sad in fact they're the reason why i started my own gaming blog like my gaming blog sucks like you know, it barely gets any readers, but like, I like to write and that's why I started it. And I designed the website myself and like all these things because I just love the concept of it so much. So even if it's not like a readership, it's just a hobby to write and analyze and interpret the, the news and just have a fun, good time. And I need to consume this now or I'm gonna lose all my runes. Oh God, fuck, he's toast. I wish there was a way to upgrade him. Actually, without him is a little easier because you get stunned. I really want to know. It's kind of lame. It's a little weak, but I like it. Because these attacks stun them. Yeah, Torrent doesn't seem... relevant but anyway yeah game inform being shut down is the reason why i got into writing re like i studied journalism um like i like to do video game reviews and news and blogs like they're a really really big part of it they motivated my desire to want to do that so it is it is beyond gut-wrenching that they're that they know more you know because even if you go to game informer's webpage, i don't know if it's changed since then but as of august 2nd they, it's just a landing page that says thanks for 33 great years you know bye and i'm like that sucks like there was no that like the announcement happened the same day they're like gone forever that's a flying one and like that really breaks my heart hate that hate it hate it hate it there's a lot of flying bugs out here you know what i mean like that that sucks i really wish they could have been kept in the fold, but they probably didn't make any money. It wasn't really anything anyone cared about. And yeah, I'm sure GameStop doesn't really care about that. They've been going through their own change in metamorphosis, but I don't know. Just something I felt like I needed to talk about happened at the time of this recording. I'm sad. They were great. I really loved their their opinions. They did it and, and viewpoints. Opinions? Hmm. They were very upfront about their opinions, but I feel like they were so good at just telling you like it is and not i don't know they were they seemed fair to me but is any journalism fair i don't know i i thought they were this looks dangerous as f a lot of items here though let's take the ground one down first because he seems vulnerable So three shots just like everybody else. God damn it. Dude, drink it, asshole. I'm dead. They're a little harder to hit because they have that aerial advantage. Gotta be careful. really give me a whole lot in return. I only got one heal back. I better find a side of grace soon, but 
I got a feeling it's not going to be the, the last of them. And the, these, these roots, man, are just probably covering a ton of secrets and items. I don't know. Anyway, RIP GameStop. This might give me a good vantage point. Let's see if we can look around a little bit. Side of Grays. Oh, and it's just going to spawn these things all right back, huh? Oh, it's a finger chick. Finger banger, I don't know. I got some runes. What do I have now? 32. I need 47 to level up again. Answer back. Stone six. Okay. Let's do. That. I'm gonna go back to the hold and level up if I can. I'm not ready for this area yet. I don't think, but. should have died a true death as the first of the demigods to die as a martyr to destined death but why must it yet bring such disgrace a scion of the golden bow sentenced to live in death how could such a thing come to be? Okay, whatever, dude. I have no idea what you're talking about, but... I also wonder... So this seems like a castle that we'll have to go to. It looks like a... Raya Lucaria type setup, but... Most of it's been destroyed. Where am I? Deep root depths. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this one. We'll come back to that. This is... That's underground. We are underground. How do they get light here? I wonder. Anyway. All right. Uh, let's go see if I can level up. I, I don't know. Which one can I... Should I level up? Should I level up this one or move bail? I don't know. Well, I took you now to lay out your Let's see what I can do. Strength and armament. What do I need for that? find out. Hold on. Equipment. Okay, if I equip you, then it should show a better view. Okay, so what do I need? Smithing stone nines. Somber smithing stones. Okay, so we'll use this one. Smithing stone seven. So we're at 19 now. I do want to dual wield, but... Oh, we have weapons to... Ex to uh, investigate too, but yeah, she's the one who um, was standing out here. She upgrades your mimics. Basically, you talk to the smith about her, which I didn't notice was an option. Then you go back to her. Then you go back to the smith. Then you go back to her, rest, and then she's here or leave or something and come back. And then she sets up shop there. Basically, the smith kind of just says that he'll look out for her and that uh, she's got potential to do X, Y, Z. She doesn't believe it. You tell the smith, he assures her that it's the case. You tell her that the smith is totally down for it. And she's like, okay, sounds good. Then you, you know, pass time, come back, and she sets up shop. So, very useful stuff. Um, this Let's do the other thing that I wanted to do. Now, I have a fast travel point here for the Divine Tower of Caelid. Now, you'll recall, I think it was the Divine Bridge here where we took the rune after we dealt, yeah, Divine Tower of Limgrave. We went here and we dropped off the Godric rune. This one is for Rodons. So the fast travel point, um, I'm going to actually go away from it because I did part of a puzzle and I just feel like that was most likely best uh, or something that I should have done um, in a video. There's also, like, we're in a dragon area. There's a dragon corpse, I think, just around the bend here, down there. There's a handful of dragons, and there's some other, like, really dangerous dragon in this area. I haven't seen it, but I, I was told that there is a huge, deadly um, 
dragon that is like you just want to be super careful um but anyway so here so this tower has like a little puzzle structure outside of it which i think is pretty cool but i kind of figured out the path and so i was like oh, i want to wait and like do this in a video so let's go here so basically you're running over these arches but you have to be super careful because these guys are here and i'm just trying to beat him so he doesn't knock me off there we go okay so you can run back and forth and all those but i think really just climb up i found a site of grace in here that i could travel to but i uh, I, I want to say that food. Yeah, there's the dragons I was telling you about in the water. And then there's like a really deadly dragon somewhere else that I think has an animation or like a little, like an in-game cutscene thing where he like flies in, probably Fs you up. Um, but basically, I believe we're just running here. Jump. Jump. I'm just jumping like crazy. No, he's dead. Bye. Okay. And then I think we have to run across this one now. This one was a little harder. I died a few times, so I'm gonna pop this. I guess it doesn't really matter, because I'll be able to... Oh, you bitch. Follow this path. Yeah, fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, we didn't die. Good. Okay. Uh... Huh. Oh, you dumb mother... Alright. Oh, well. I guess it was worth popping that, after all. Pretty sure that's a crucible knight right there. Grey dolls dragon borrow. Okay. Anyway. That did happen to me a couple of times. This guy talks about a dragon too. It's like he's a ghost sitting there amongst this old dirty grass or whatever. Like I said, I could fast travel to that site, but there's an item over there, actually. I didn't notice that before. Is this one broken? No. Oh, shithole. That was a startling one. Didn't see him coming. That's what she said. I'm sure there's probably some interesting things around the whole thing. I didn't actually explore this very thoroughly. So we can go do that. Okay, so much for that. Kind of get the idea. There probably is... Yeah, there's other ledges down there. Looks like there's a... There's some things to do. Climb down there and jump around and try to get where you need to go. I'm only doing this because I did it without recording it. Stunned him. Okay. Oh, that's... I was wondering, too. I was about to say, why do I get so much rune from that? And I'm like, oh, it's because the golden scarab talisman that I got gives you more runes for your kills. So I've been like... I've been, I've been crushing that big time. Surprised he lived. Oh, God. Okay. This is definitely uh, an OSHA violation. I didn't come up with that joke. Michael came up with that while we were playing together. He was watching me with this, and he was guiding me on some things. And he's like, you should probably save this for a video. And I was like, okay. And then while I was just kind of like checking this out a little bit further, he was like, I was like, there's a lot of safety issues here. And he's like, yep, that's definitely an OSHA violation. No railing and just how the ladders are right there. Could you imagine being a soldier here and just like sitting along these edges, like waiting for, I don't know, someone like me to come along? Okay, so here was the site of Grace. Divine Tower Caleb. Did I... Huh. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's swap you out so you can see what this thing does. 
So, I believe... Isn't that sick? It acts in every way, just like the normal... the normal weapon does. Or the normal katana does. Um, actually, that's why I had this in the second slot, because... I was dual wielding, and I was just kind of like trying to play around with that a little bit. Yeah, so he's got dually bladies, which I like. Nasty combination. I don't know how to block with it, though. Yeah, pretty sweet. So why don't I just do this? Because, like, you could crisscross the blades, I thought, to block, but it doesn't let you. Because the block button is this uh, multi-sword slash thing. I have no idea what sort of damage benefit it gives me to dual wield these two. If any. Over double-handing a single blade, but... Hang on to it. Wait, is this a door? Oh, this is the door. Door, Mambu. Okay. Looks like the other place we were at. I have not been this far, by the way. I like that it shows both sheaths and one unequipped sword. That's really sweet. We have a lot of things to do in the next few episodes now that I've gotten stronger and I have my Mimic. I beat the Draconic Tree Sentinel uh, out of the... Like, I didn't realize how easy it was going to be once I attacked him again. And then I used my Mimic tier and I beat the hell out of him. He was so easy, I beat him, like, instantly one first try. And I was like, okay, I just wanted to practice to see how much it would take. And then I was going to do it in a video, and then I didn't. But I wanted to beat him because it opens up a door into the city, and I need to go into the city so I can do the mission that Hex uh, lets me take on the Raging Wolf guy, and then I can get his armor, which is what I really want to do. Now, there wasn't really a cutscene the last time we did this, so I have no idea if this is, you know, going to have anything different. Great rune restored. Rodan's great rune. I wish you could see it. Like, what exactly does a great rune look like exactly? Like, I don't know. But I think that's it. Like, that's it. Okay, done. <laughs> Which is perfect because that lines up with everything I wanted to do in this video for the moment. But there we go. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Thanks, guys, for watching this episode of Elden Ring. We'll pick up where we left off in the next one. If you enjoyed this one, though, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There are some links there that might be uh, of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and Nine Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. We're going to go to the capital here, and I'll show you real fast before we wrap it up. This is where we beat the Tree Sentinel, and then he opened up a door, and then it just revealed a, roll, a walkway that had a... Like, I beat him, he's right outside that door. This, that archway was blocked, and then once you beat him, it opens up, and then you come here so um we got things to do inside the capital city which we'll do in the next episode but if like i said do all those things that i mentioned if you're interested otherwise just know that i appreciate you and your time and i hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of elden ring all right guys that's it for me take care be well see you next time